That's John. I'm Joe. Uh, we're trying to do a new thing now where, and we're going to put this into a podcast format as well. We're going to start doing a once a week thing where we answer a question that either one of us comes up with, or if you guys want to hear us talk about stuff, we will talk about it. Uh, but the whole premise of this, we're going to give ourselves a 20 minute time limit, talk about this stuff as deeply as we can, which no guarantees it'll get super deep, but it's always fun. Uh, and then after 20 minutes, that's everything. Right. Uh, if you're checking in with us first time, or if you're uh, know who we are, we are from Washington State. We make music. We moved down to Nashville a few years ago, and uh, check out our music's John and Joe, John and Joe com, John and Joe everywhere, Spotify. So uh, we'll go ahead and get going. Uh, John, what's the question today? Uh, the question today is, what is up with Nashville's hype? And all right, I'm going to start the timer. Here we go. Yeah, we have 20 minutes to talk about this. Um, what we mean by that is Nashville tends, it seems like one thing that we've noticed is that people love Nashville. People that live here, love it. People come here to visit and love it. Uh, we love it, but we come from the Pacific Northwest where, you know, you're surrounded by like giant mountains and ocean and all these like crazy things that are always kind of, um, just lots of nature lots of nature that's just crazy and you know nashville's pretty as well but uh we kind of just realized that there's something that people like about this city that is almost like unexplainable i mean we can start with the obvious like i think that more than anything this city has definitely cashed in on its identity as music city i think that most cities that have any sort of music scene like New Orleans or, you know, Chicago with different types of music. They'll have music in bars and stuff, but this is like, we have specific parts of town that are dedicated to showcasing music and tons of events. It's also, as far as I know, one of the only cities, maybe New Orleans as well, but one of the only cities where you can listen to live music in more than, I don't know, how many bars are on Broadway? I don't know, second. we probably have 50 at least. You can listen to music from 10 a.m. until 3 in the morning, live music every single day. I mean, not during COVID really, but... Well, not just that. We also, you have a different person playing music on every single level of the bar. If a bar yeah. is three stories, you have at least two or three acts and probably a DJ somewhere. But it's just interesting because, you know, when you go to New York City or something... It's obvious why people like that, I think. You know, there's sure. so much beautiful architecture. Um, the food is fantastic. There's so much culture there. You know, there's a decent amount of culture in a lot of big cities now, and that's awesome. Maybe there always has been, but uh, I don't know. I just find it interesting. I'm, I'm proud of this city. I like it a lot. I'm happy to live here. It's been great. It's been, you know, maybe cheaper and easier to live here than it, than it was back in uh, Washington State or Portland, Oregon, but... Uh, well, I kind of want to piggyback off of that because I think that another thing that draws a ton of people here is how cheap it is. Yeah, I, mean, I guess maybe even for tourism, it's kind of cheap. I mean, talking to your cousins, anytime they come into town, we complain about like a Bud Light oh, being yeah. seven or eight dollars down on Broadway, which is still too expensive <laughs> for a Bud Light. Yeah, I don't, I don't but it. you'll talk to your cousins who lived in New York for the longest time and they're like, dude, this is super cheap. Yeah, that's true. So you come here and point. you can find bars downtown serve drinks that are cheaper than a lot of big cities. I don't, yeah, I, again, like it's it's so there's so many things we can get into on this and we do have a good amount of time left, which is good. Um one of my mom's friends came down and visited and she's just one of my mom's like teacher friends, my mom's a teacher. And she came down I think like last year, maybe 2 years ago. And we just did the whole, you know, country music hall of fame thing, which is like, obviously like if you're a tourist, like you're going to like that. It's like pretty fun, pretty cool to see the history. It's a pretty great museum as well. But, uh, we went to like some speakeasies and just like bars, you know, stuff that I think they have up there. And, um, she made a post like when she got back and she was like, just visited like my probably favorite city, like in America. And I was just like, okay, like that's awesome. I'm not saying I disagree. That's what's so interesting about this. Like, 
question that we have is oh. that I don't think that we disagree, but I think that it is like we see people just freak out about Nashville and we're like, it is cool. Like, I think we, it's, I think it's because we live here. Yeah, it was cool. I remember thinking that when we first moved here, like anytime we went out, it was cool. Like it was awesome. Yeah. But then afterwards, especially especially working downtown the last two and a half years, uh, you kind of get desensitized to all the lights and everything and everything going on. But anytime anybody comes up here or down here or side to side here. <laughs> It's a different thing seeing them talk about it because they'll tra- they'll just talk about how awesome it is and they'll be like, normally I go to bed at like ten, especially even when I go out back home, like if they're from Boston or something, and then here they're out until like three o'clock in the morning. But we can't forget that every city has its little scene. That, of course, that you know you can go clubbing and stay out till however late you want, and I mean. Yeah, it's just interesting. And then the other thing that we wanted to talk about was there's not only is there like the whole tourism, people are just so um, into the tour. Like when people come here as tourists, obviously they love it. And we think that they're like really into it. And it's kind of uh, confusing to us sometimes. But then there's the musicians that move here. And they move here because it's Music City and it's, it's cheaper than LA. So a lot of people come from LA and stuff. And they move here because they have dreams and they want to make it and stuff like that. Um, but then there's that like inspiration that's in Nashville. You know what I'm talking about? Like the whole yeah. people think people come here and they all of a sudden they get better. And obviously that's partially because of how good the talent is that makes you be- want to be better. You know, the musicians here are so good that you just want to get better. But I think that there's like something else that's like, you know, when movie stars or, or, uh, you know, uh, aspiring actors move to LA. They kind of talk about the sort of like magic that's in yeah, the right. air in the streets. There are so many the, stories of yeah. musicians moving here or like musicians working in certain studios, like RCA studio B where they'd be like, we just couldn't write a song for a long time. Like we had writer's block and then you step foot in that studio and just like the juju of the studio. Cause Elvis recorded there. Dolly recorded there. Didn't the Beatles do uh blue suede shoes there? I think they did. Might be wrong on that. Sorry if I am. For all you Beatles fans out there. They did do a song here, though. They I came through. I not doubt that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Because like, I feel it, too. I mean, it is... It, it sometimes feels like you're a tourist every day, in a way. Like I don't know about you, but... So me and Joseph work downtown, and we give tours to people. But whenever I go down Music Row, it is, it is fun, and it is exciting to drive down this street where there's all these studios and, like, writing... Uh, publishers and music you know managers and stuff like that it is it is kind of fun to just be like yeah this is like what i came here to do and you know it's cool to be around it the funny thing about music row too is i think that a lot more people think it's going to be a lot flashier than it is because it's literally just an entire street full of businesses. recording studios and businesses and they're just buildings and apparently way back in the day it was more so musical like i guess some of the old old music biz people in Nashville um, complain about how Music Row is like disappearing. Yeah. Um, you know, they're putting up condos and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, just to clarify, Music Row is the music industry. Broadway is the crazy lights and, you know, the whole Las Vegas vibe, but country music, Las Vegas. And I think people assume that there's like a second one called Music Row. And so whenever we're like, <laughs> hey, welcome up to the uh, Music Row tour, they're like, ooh, and then we're just like, there's a Sony publishing on the left, you know. Oh, in case we weren't explicit enough with d- saying what we do downtown is we're pedal tavern drivers. So yeah. if you go to any huge city and you see those beer bikes with either the barrel on the front, which is what our company is or not, but the people who are on the bikes pedaling and drinking, that's what we do for a job. Yeah, it's fun. It's very fun. Um, got a little off topic there. Not really, but <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, I don't know if we're supposed to really answer the question, are we? Uh, the question's more to stimulate kind of a conversation that has to do with like, I would say what's up with Nashville's hype is the question. And then as long as we're talking about stuff that's Nashville, and like why Nashville's cool and why people like it, then yeah. it I just, doesn't. I just think that Nashville has this thing to it that I don't know that a ton of cities have. Like I would say that LA has that magic, maybe Seattle if you're like playing grunge or something and you're just like, man, well, nah. nah. <laughs> if you're like 
trying to get into the tech industry and you're in Seattle and you're like, man, I got big dreams. Like this is where Bill Gates like used to think only dream about. I can't wait to start my startup in Seattle, like the most expensive city in <laughs> the country. Uh, Seattle, maybe for that. Uh, New York, of course. Did I already say New York? Whatever. Not in not in this stream, but in this cast. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. New York, uh, Memphis, Nashville, maybe New Orleans. Like, there's those sit. Not really New Orleans. I, I, New Orleans is awesome though. But I just think that there's those industry, entertainment industry cities, like the art cities, where that's like the main focus. And I think that people move here with big dreams, whether they're good or bad. There's plenty of untalented musicians in Nashville. There's so many talented ones, and I think it's just like L.A. and people used to talk and still talk about LA that way, how there's all these people that just come from everywhere, no matter what age they are. And they come there to make it, you know, they have huge dreams. They've always wanted to be an actor, actress. And I think that's starting to happen here a lot more than it did. And I think that that mixed with the history adds this like sort of magic that people get excited about. I agree. And it helps, it helps the art. Like the fact that people are so excited about being here, it just like, makes you excited you know but i think memphis has that too because elvis was there uh jerry Lee lewis you know all those guys back then yeah there's just a ton of draw to the city right now it's very very cheap to live here and to do anything here really which is why i think that a ton of younger people especially artsy people are starting to move here um but with that said there's always been some sort of scene musically food wise. Yeah. The, I've heard that the food has gotten a lot better here in the last probably six, seven years. I would assume. So I think, I mean, there's always been Southern food of course, but I think once Nashville got discovered, it was kind of put on the fast track or like forced to evolve almost. That's when you get people from like New York and it, like good food yeah, cities. Moving I mean, out. it's such a, such a cheap city to, I mean, it's getting more expensive. It's getting a lot more expensive. Not okay. Which is not okay. I hate that, yeah. But I think because of that, a lot of people like bachelorette parties, family vacations started happening and coming down here. Um, I also think that just because it's a major city that's like really far away from a lot of other huge cities. To me, like yeah. that kind of like the middle. makes everything, it kind of draws everybody from a certain from this area like the mid-south and kind of brings all of the best and brightest the south is also having like a moment i feel like i think that people kind of just knocked on the south for years and i'm not southern so i don't actually know that Mm -hmm. but i i've heard people say like that way back in the day it was like oh you live in nashville so like can you read like people would just people were just like really mean you know um but we're not southern so we don't really know much about that but i just think that the south had a bad reputation for a long time And people have been coming here a lot more and they're kind of like surprised at how pretty it is and like a lot of things. Because it isn't like Ohio or something where it's like freezing cold or like super flat. Like there's plenty of hills here and it's super green because it rains all the time. I was very surprised about that. Yeah. I think a lot of people are when they come here. Yeah. I think that it's just having its moment. Like I think that people had an impression of what Nashville was and country music was considered pretty lame for a long time. Um, And now it's like cool or whatever with like, bachelorette parties and all that and just people that are that age um and it's having a moment as well so there's the tourism side of it there's the aspiring artist side of side of it of the hype there's the well the industry's moving here we're talking to molly's dad the other day and he was talking about how like bmi was moving from wherever new york oh yeah coming down here because it's cheaper to have an office here in nashville than it is in new york well i think they always had an office but they're moving like more of it here yeah. because there's just like yeah like there's less like I, it any city that keeps growing obviously ends up getting higher taxes and i think that a lot of the goodness that um you get from a small city goes away as the city grows so i'm sure that in years if nashville gets keeps growing the way it is growing it will lose you know some of the magic because i think what's great about it now is like everyone's like, Oh, it's so cheap to live here. And like, I can still make like pretty good money doing my job. And like all these businesses are moving here cause it's cheap and there's less regulations and stuff like that. And that's with like downtown, all those party buses. I think that a lot of people come here and they're like, what is that? Like there's, I've never seen a place where there's these like stupid, Oh yeah. you know, like just people hanging off of party buses, screaming or a tractor in downtown or a tractor pulling a trailer full of uh 
bachelorettes, bachelorette party. You know, it's just such a silly place right now. And it's fun. It really is fun. But I think <laughs> we've all in the back of our minds thought, you know, this won't last forever. Obviously, COVID slowed that down. But it's only a matter of time before, uh, you know, they just go, okay, we can't have all these crazy party buses down here. That's true. But it, you've seen this too, obviously, since we live together. Uh, <laughs> but like just the fact that like our city opened up for a couple of weeks and downtown was just packed. Yeah. Like it is just crazy. It the, is crazy. The draw of the city, what people can do here. Uh, there's just so much going on. I don't know anything about New Jersey or that area or anything, but I've got a friend who lives in New Jersey that wants to move here. And I'm like, okay. I mean, it's just one of those things. Again, it's like, I love that. I love Nashville. Anyone who wants to move here should move here, but it's like, isn't New Jersey like kind of cool? Like I, I, I just never been there. So I don't know. Like the food's gotta be awesome. Maybe like there's Italian food there. I don't know. People knock on New Jersey too. So I always thought New Jersey was like a city in New York. No, nah, it's its own like state, isn't oh, it? No, it is for sure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I just, I always thought because it's right there. It's close. Yeah. Sorry to people from New Jersey when you see this in five years when this blows up. Um, we still have four and a half minutes. That the first fifteen flew by actually. Yeah. It's once you get into the conversation, it's it's fun. Let us know in the comments if you guys um, what you have to 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 say about this. I mean, hopefully we get some comments. I do think it is something worth talking about, though. Like I've talked about this with many of my Nashville friends. Uh, the older generation in Nashville, the Nashville natives, they just, they don't want to talk about this. They're like, I don't know. I don't, you know, they're ruining this city. <laughs> I remember when this city was two streets and a stoplight and you saw Willie Nelson busking on the corner, <laughs> which he never had to do. I never said that, but yeah, no, seriously, there's, there's that whole thing for sure. Um, one thing I was thinking about today, and this is off topic and a little bit ignorant, but when people like say that they're ruining music row, I, I haven't really noticed what they're talking about. Like, I know that they're putting up condos there and I think that that's, what's frustrating. It's like, Hey, this street used to be just music. Maybe that's what it is, but there's still like a ton of management and like, music I guess, down but there. in the four years we've been here, that area of town has never been like bumping. Like I've never driven through there. I've probably driven through there a handful of times and I'll see like a couple of people walking on the sidewalk. It's not like people are out like playing their guitars on the steps of like these buildings or anything like that. Right. Cause it's like business. So it's like, yeah, exactly. Studios. And, but it's, it is interesting cause we didn't live here, you know, 30, 40 years ago or less, but I have talked to enough people who were in the industry at that time. And they said it was like, you could work in a studio at the front desk and, uh, they they were never slow. Like th- there was always work, and I think maybe that's changed. Um, probably. I mean, again, we're kind of of that generation that might be sort of ruining that whole thing because we record our own music, um, which saves us a lot of money, but it obviously takes away from the studios. Uh, but I don't know. It's all just interesting to hear. I love hearing from the older generation of Nashville natives. It is fun to listen to what they have to say. It's too bad they're so far and few between. Yeah, there's not a lot of Nashville natives. I mean, there is, but it's like, that's kind of the joke if you move here and then you meet someone. There's a couple of jokes. If you meet someone from Nashville, you're like, oh, wow, you don't meet a lot of you. And then there's, um, if you've lived here for more than, I guess if you lived anywhere for more than like 10 years, people will be like, oh, you're basically a native. But that's the other thing. It's like, oh, you've been here 10 years. You're basically a native. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah. <laughs> we are not sponsored by uh, Yeti or anything like that yet, but they make really good stuff. This isn't a Yeti. Mine's from Walmart. This was like five dollars. Yeah. Also, if you like the stickers that we have on this, uh, let us put a sticker on your water bottle. I will personally send you one in the mail. Just let me know that you want one, and I'll send it. And then you'll have one on your water bottle. It's a John and Joe sticker. It looks pretty good on the water bottle. It does. I think that it's got a good place. Yeah. Um. Well, what can we finish this up with? Because I think we should do the t- the whole, the question fills the 20 minutes. We do any outro after yeah, that. Yeah, of course, of course. Which, I mean, this is our first time, so we're still figuring what it out. What questions have we answered? People, the tourists like this place because it's cheap. It's very cheap. Um, there, Some of them. There's no shortage of things to do. 
when especially it, the other joke in Nashville actually is that Nashville is a drinking city with a music problem. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Because there's seriously like hundreds and hundreds of bars in this city. But that's what's interesting. I think if you're planning on drinking, going out and hearing music, that's this is a great city for that. Absolutely. There's a couple other silly things you can do, but other than that, like if you're coming here to do anything else, it's just not. I'd probably go. If I was going to go hiking, I'd probably go somewhere else. There are good hikes here, but it's like... You have to drive a little bit. Yeah, it's like you don't come here to hike or really see the scenery necessarily you come here to see what people have built what music people have written and created and if those things don't interest you you find a bar and you drink they've also made so many different activities for you to be able to come and drink here not just sitting at bars you could do a pedal tavern like we do there's boats you can do a boat on the river or on the lake and you can go out and drink for a few hours you can go on one of those party tractors party tractor you can be on the back of a tractor that used to have, they also have a on giant, it. a giant, uh, radio flyer wagon that pulls people around. It's so Dude. dumb. We'll throw up. A, <laughs> well, we took a picture of it. We'll throw a picture up on it on the screen. Hey, and we're out of time. Ooh, we're out of time. I'm gonna turn this off. So this alarm goes off. All right. First time. Uh, I didn't think that was too bad. I didn't think so either. I thought the intro could have been, uh, we you know, it's our first time we were kind of shaky on the intro, but once we got going, it was easy. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, please check out our music john and joe.com go to john and joe.com click on the link where it says click here or just click on the logo and it'll take you to a link tree which will then take you to spotify apple music youtube we've got covers out we got more covers coming out we got original music we got more original music coming out um we got a, a new music video coming out we have a That's lot right. of things coming out you guys with so many things going on uh don't forget to follow us on our social medias as well to keep up with us uh, this is going to be on YouTube, so like and subscribe. Yeah. yeah. Anything else to say? I have no more words. All right. Awesome. Thanks, guys.